going on guys um, got another mass call here I uh, went to my local thrift store the one I usually go to um, and they had some more great stuff again um, this thrift store I go to they have a whole sep uh, separate store you know it's on the same property but it's a whole separate store and it's called their seasonal store and it's only open um, a couple months out of the year but what's good about that is all the stuff they receive throughout the year builds up. So when you know it is open for the few months, they just have so much stuff, so many masks, um, a lot of Christmas things too, of course. But they have a whole you know tables full of Halloween stuff, just decorations piled up on these tables, and um, you have to kind of just dig through to find things. And there's all kinds of people in there, and it's just kind of crazy. But they always have great things. So I'll show you some of the stuff I got. One of the first things I got here. I put on a mannequin, it didn't come with this, I threw it on this mannequin head, but I got a uh, vinyl goosebumps mask. Very cool mask. Um, these are from the 90s. It says uh, Parachute Press Ink. I guess that's who makes it. It's vinyl, vinyl mask. It's in great shape, it's almost perfect condition. There's the goosebumps G right there. It's a slime. Mohawk. I was never a huge, go you know, I, I like Goosebumps, I guess, but uh, when Goosebumps books were becoming popular, I was in maybe the fifth or sixth grade, and you know, a lot of kids liked them, but at that point, you know, sixth grade, I was into, you know, Friday the 13th, Nightmare on Elm Street, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, things like that, so I wasn't really impressed with the Goosebumps books, but they are cool. It's pretty cool, pretty cool vinyl mask. Next couple of masks I got here are a couple of old uh, Caesar vinyl masks. Presidential masks. Reagan here. It says in the back, I don't know if it'll pick up, but it says uh, 1986 Caesar. Kind of hard to see. Yeah, 1986 Caesar. They're thin, you know, they're, they hold, I mean, they go flat and they kind of hold their shit. And they're, it's hard to, they're just kind of cheap masks. But I like the old Caesar masks. I think they're pretty cool. Then got another Caesar uh, Clinton mask. This one's not as old. Older Caesar mask, but not not nearly as old. The other one was uh, 86. This one is a 92. So an 86 and a 92. I need to stuff them, heat them up, and stuff them, and then uh, this should be working a little, look a little better. I get them stuffed out. Like I said, I just got these today. The next one I got here is a very cool one. This is an old uh, 1989 Topstone Werewolf mask. There's two models of this. There's a gray one that is more rare, more sought after. And then there's this brown one. Still both very cool masks. Um, he's seen better days. His eyes, there's starting to be some cracks around the eyes, the tops of his ears have got a hardened, kind of under the chin, it's got to kind of get hard down there too, but he's still, I mean, top stone masks never last very long, so to find him in this shape, I was glad. Yeah, so 1989 top stone wolf mask, I was actually very happy to, very happy to find this one. And then, uh, I was really happy to find this one right here. This is a 1978 Be Something Studios mask, Dr. Deranged. Dr. Deranged is the name of them. I posted this on the Facebook pages, you know, showing people my haul. And uh, I had offers for over $100 on him almost instantly. So, a lot of collectors. He's pretty sought after for uh, Be Something Studios collectors. Like I said, it's a 1978 mask. It's in great shape. The hair's kind of matted and old, but the hair's still there. None of it's ripped out. No rips on the ears or the eyes. So, yeah, he's in, a, he's in great shape.
Eyebrows are still intact. Stuff him, get him a little bit, get him back into shape a little better, but yeah. 1978, Be Something Studios, Dr. Deranged. Very, very sought after, uh, collectible mask for a Be Something Studios collectors. So I'm glad to have this guy. And then, I also have this. This is another old Be Something Studios, 1977 Be Something Studios mask. I don't know the exact name of this one. I'll have to do some research and find out, but again, in great shape. No rips or tears. Still has the, her hair's there, still has her shroud that she comes with. The original. You can see on the inside, I don't know if that'll show up, but uh, actually molded, you know, cast. On the inside it says, 1970 something, 1977 B something studios ink it's kind of hard to see that maybe you'll we'll see a little better this way yeah 1977 B something studios. It's in great shape again for an older, you know, 1977 mask. Very cool. It's got the green, uh, green, whatever this material is. Yeah. So that's my thrift store haul for this week. Again, old, you know, 70s B something studios masks. Um, 80s top stone wolf mask and a couple old uh, vinyl Caesars and a goosebumps mask not bad not bad I really don't these I'll get these stuffed out I don't collect uh, presidential masks I do have a Nixon mask but I do like the Caesars so if I find more of these I'll probably grab those and um, yeah that's my haul for this week um, I love these old Be Something Studios masks. I love these older masks. And uh, if you can get them from, the, from thrift stores and things like that, not pay top dollar, that's the way to go. So I'm definitely, definitely really happy about these, about these masks. I'm going to have to get a separate shelving area just for my vintage masks. Uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Later.